Hey everybody, what's up? It's me. It's Pete. Hitting my wine and uh, coming to you with another indie taste test. Everybody's favorite segment where I play indie games. Uh, today, I have a game that came out a while ago, but I've been wanting to check out and plan to review. It's called What Remains of Edith Finch. I am very comfortable. I am wearing a white t-shirt. I am wearing boxers, which you just saw my stomach, because you don't get to see that, people. Uh, what Remains of Edith Finch has been a uh, game on my radar for a while. It's actually one of the highest reviewed games of the year. I believe, from what I know, it's kind of a walking simulator, but a uh, walking simulator can be good or bad, and uh, my opinion varies wildly on these. Uh, for example, Love Proteus, not such a huge fan of Abzu, but I guess Abzu is like, not a, let's say I'm not a huge fan of Dear Esther. It's okay. It's not great. Whatever. So. We are going to dig into this. I'm going to hit new game because it boots you right into the game. So, And I'm going blind because I want to not spoil too much and show you just like, you know, 30 minutes of the game. So after this two minute overly long intro, let's get started. Cheers, everybody. Uh, this game is made by the people who made uh, Black Swan. Is it? No, that's the movie. The Unfinished Swan is the game they made. Which I, ha I played a while back uh, and was a pleasurable uh, walking simulator. Uh, very pretty with very good art. Um, trying to figure out what to do. Ooh, okay. Edith Finch. So we must, we might be Edith? It's going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. So we open up in kind of like a journal type of deal. We can look around, see what the world has. We have a pretty slow walking speed at this point. A leisurely stroll of sorts. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay. I like that the text appears in the air. Ooh, what a cutie mailbox that is. I like my sleeves. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. So you kind of move the mouse to like do the actions and stuff. I hadn't been back. Which is weird. So we picked up that Lewis has died. What's that sign say? No trespassing. This property is protected by video surveillance. Trespassers will be prosecuted. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Okay. Maybe she thought Ooh, I'd know. That was cool. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So possibly her parents wanted her to come back to this place? So there's a branching path up here. Uh, let's go down into the wilderness. This game looks very pretty. It's running at about 30 frames. Uh, but very nice. Uh, the foliage and nature looks pretty great. Um, I'm just walking into the middle of nowhere right now. Ooh. Ooh, there's a ton of missing signs. Are those for her brother? 
It looks like it. I don't think that name is Edith Finch. Can, we can zoom in by hitting shift. I knew that off the top of my head for no good reason, but whatever, whatever it takes. So walking simulators, this is a weird thing for me because I usually play these in one sitting, but this one, since I'm doing an indie taste test for you guys, I'm going to, uh... The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Huh. So the house knows what's going on, but she doesn't. I almost want to go back. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to go back. As if they're about to say something, but never do. So she has very strong emotions about this place. Anyways, this specific time in doing this, I'm going to re-record this part for when I review this game. Because I'm very interested in analyzing this game and figuring out what the folds hold. We got a basketball hoop. Another missing poster. Let's try to walk up to it. Milton Finch went missing. I think it would be cool if they... Uh, the if they don't tell you that. But they did. So the house is what she remembers. Oh, that's weird. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Huh. That is a very odd joke. Hey, kid, guess what? That scary boat dragon killed my my husband. Isn't that hilarious? No. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Huh. Let's go around the garage. Ooh, those wind chimes are making nice noises. This game is really, like, pretty. Like, this really looks kind of freaky real. Why do we go through the cat door? Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Yet I still got it. Been eating my kale. So this doesn't look too bad for like an abandoned house. Like it's still pretty much intact. It's not overly done. Ooh, that's a good touch. The old tennis ball uh, to show you how to pull, how far to pull into your garage. That's kind of neat. It's like, and that light uh, texture right there, a really nice touch. Little vacuum and such. For okay. the first time in years. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Well, you are, aren't Instead you? Instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Aw. Edie. Edith, Edie, Don, and Lewis. In loving memory of Lewis Finch. December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010. So he was only 22 years old. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Edie. Memorial service, Finch Family Cemetery. So we got some cookbooks, it looks like. Anything interesting in there? No. 
Uh, not really there. The only interesting one is Witch's Kitchen. I don't know what that is. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. They have a cat named Molly? We got an old-fashioned stove and stuff. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I wonder why they left. Oh, Edie's wheelchair and, uh, with the attached oxygen tank has a uh, has a nameplate on it. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. This is a cool room. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. So the original house sank. Oh man, that's super pretty. Look at that statue out there. I want to go see that statue. Can I go see that statue? Statue. 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 I don't want to go down there yet. Let's look around first. Let's wind this baby up. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Aw, that's like a good touch. You build a house and then you just, on top of it, you build a music box, you're a good person, you love your family. My uh. mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Aw. Oh, what's this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. No, that's gross. I refuse to believe this fact. That was cool, the keyhole view. Let's go upstairs first. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. So this house is like, kinda creepy. Like, I wouldn't put these pictures in my house. Like, look at this one. Jesus Christ, that's creepy. And that one. What the hell? Okay, we gotta look at these photos. Not just gonna walk away without looking at these photos. Okay, the pup. Got a kite, baby. Barbara friend. Ooh. She directing a monster movie, My Friend Bigfoot. Got an otter. Let's see. A guy working in the in the garage. A vacation. A couple more vacations. Sure, sure, sure. Still too many pictures, but maybe we'll find something. Is that a ghost in the background? No. It's not, it's just trees. That picture is still so fucking creepy. Jesus Christ. Like, why? Why? Did she make that decision? Who made that decision? Okay. Anyways. Okay. Kitties, dogs, mom painting when she's pregnant. Sure. Sure, sure. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think oh. my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Dude, this is like the Always coolest room ever. Passages, but I never believed him. Let's open that baby up. Can it Oh, that actually worked. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh, weird. 
Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh no, I don't want to go in there yet. I have more to explore. Get away from me. It's not time yet. I'm not playing like a human being would in this situation. I need to see more. Mommy always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. Oh, that's with. so awesome. If she hadn't died in 1947. 1947. Ugh, man. Why does Molly have a room in the house if it's... What? That's strange. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. This is like a super creepy thing. Okay, Edie at least died at a reasonable time. Do we need to put Sven Finch's date of death on there? Is this a real house? Maybe this isn't like a real house. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Yeah, like, that's so weird. Okay. Do they just write the deaths of people on their doors? Like, what's the deal, guys? Oh, there's an attic. They must have locked their four stairs on the night we left. Aw, oh, man. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. They grew out of child stars, or they grew out of Barbara? Katie's father, Odin, built the original house. I'm kind of creeped out by this family. I have a couple other things to check downstairs. Before we go into the secret room and see what that's all about. I wanted to Mom check this door. Mom to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Still no going in the basement, kiddo. You're not that much of an adult yet. Did I miss anything? That's creepy. Okay. That's super creepy. I'm gonna get away from that. Okay. Let's go into that little area and see what's going on. Okay. In here, into this crawl space. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Huh. Why was Milton allowed in here, but we weren't? Why are the toys so big? But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Oh, this is Molly's room. <laughs> I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, dude, that's rad. Look at that. A freaking painting leads up to the painting in the brick walls. This place isn't real. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Why did she seal the doors? December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Are we Molly now? Weird, okay. My Halloween candy was all gone. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Gross. Although that was just a carrot. God, it's really dark in here. 
Can I leave the room? Mom, can I come out now? What'd you do? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Well, I mean, you had the carrot. You know, you could just chill out. She has her own bathroom? What kind of kid is this? I kept eating and eating. Ew, gross. I ate a lot of things that night. Ugh. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Why is her door locked? And suddenly... Her window locked. I was a cat. Book. I'm a kitty. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Now I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna murder you. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Can I see Mom and Dad? Oh, I got cute purring noises. Come here, birdie. Come here. I jumped and I almost got her. She's getting really tired. <coughs> Where'd it go now? Dude, there's. What is there? Trucks and pigs and stuff here? That's very strange. Cool though. Where's my bird friend? Oh, there you are. That's all I care about most of the time. Is getting my poultry. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This is super cool. Hear little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. I imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Sorry, I'm not talking, but this is strange and good and beautiful. A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. I'll eat that. Glitch through that one tree. Okay. Gotta flop. Flop. Flop it. Flop it up. Oh, 
I gotta find water. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Is that a person? I no. But now, <gasps> there it is. I'm sorry. I grabbed on tight. Sorry, Mr. Seal. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. That's cool. I like peeled away the. Uh... Ooh, this is weird. Yeah, it was a monster, and I smelled people up there. Oh, the weirdness. Ugh. So gross. I was big. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Let's continue. is this game? Nothing back here. I probably didn't have to eat those people. Think about it. Hello, sir. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. More wine. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. There's some mild camera like weirdness here. It's a little bit jittery. But it's okay. Ooh. Where are we going? Are we going to destroy the world? Oh no. Wait, I'm in my own bedroom. All oh, my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious.
I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. What the fuck, man? Okay. Well, that seems like a fine place to leave it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is an indie taste test. Let's... I... Okay. Some things that you, you watch or you experience you need to reconsider with a... Uh, it, an eye paying attention to the details. I, I may need to rewatch that whole sequence and try to figure out what's going on. But it seems like there was some kind of symbolism. I don't need, know if I need to know more before I know exactly what that meant. But Molly's locked in her room. Like, she's not allowed out. Like, her mom won't feed her, apparently. Her window's locked. Uh, she needs to feed. I don't know. If you have any opinions or any thoughts on what this is, please let me know in the comments. That would be great. This was fun. I'm interested to see where this game goes. I don't know where it's going. I have no idea. But my time with it for those first 30 minutes was really enjoyable. Now, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, eventually I'll review this on basic reviews. I think it's my next review coming up. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can, uh, listen to our podcast, Mandate Radio, uh, where I'll be talking about this, and, yeah, um, like our stuff, we're okay. Okay, guys, until next time, this has been yet another Indie Taste Test. Uh, bye bye